We're coming up next on AM Live. When it comes to shoes for men, black is out. Color is the way to go. A master shoe craftsman tells us about the art of the patina and how a well-made pair of shoes can change a man's overall appearance. Welcome back to AM Live. To all the women out there, if you think you're spending too much on shoes, then this piece of news will come as a shock. Well, according to a recent study done in the UK, it's men who actually spend more money on footwear than men. Mm. <laughs> what do you say to that? Well, why not? I mean, I, well, you know, you do maybe... own more shoes than I do. Don't <laughs> you? <laughs> See, I don't think that's necessarily true. I reckon you've actually got a lot more than me. But and and you yeah, remember, yeah, it's, it's yeah. The, a number of pair of shoes versus the the cost of the pair of shoes as well. I, I reckon maybe mm, men buy true. like right. one a very mm. expensive pair, but women buy lots and lots of uh, a lot more, but cheaper, I suppose. And then maybe, we would just like throw it away after a while. Exactly. Matthew Price, a co-founder of luxury French shoemaker, Septième Lager, was in our studio recently, and he started by sharing what a good pair of shoes means to a man it's not the comfort as the beginning because a nice pair of shoes in high quality shoes you have to be a little bit tight in the shoes at the beginning then it will stretch with the lever so, sometimes people think that high quality shoes you have to be in comfort and nice that's not true mm -hmm. you have to uh, deserve it it's like uh, three or four times you wear the shoes and then the shoes become straight Mm -hmm. But you know, um, some people say when it comes to men's shoes, it's kind of boring. There's only so much you can do um, with it. Uh, there's so much, so much fun you can introduce to it. What would you say to that? Oh, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. For example, I, I see you've got quite a yeah. fun pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, for example, you can see here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, you, you can you can wear now a lot of different shoes, a lot of different color. Mm -hmm. uh, there was um, an English uh, word that say no brown in town. Now it's Finnish. Mm. Now it's Finnish. It's you can wear all the clothes that you want, but it's it's depend of the way you you're wearing the shoes mm. and how you imagine. In fact, you bought it brought in a, a range of shoes. You have yeah. beautiful blue, yeah. purplish shoes that you've added to the shoe itself. Mm. I mean, how do you actually create colors like that? You have to paint by hand. It's mm -hmm. called the patina. Uh, called the patina. So you you start with a raw leather, like white leather, mm -hmm. and then you 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 paint with paintbrush, mm -hmm. and you make all the colors that you want, that mm -hmm. the, that the client, that the person wants. With the patina, is there any limits to what you can do with the design? As I say, the only limit is your imagination. I mean. You, you can do all the patinas that you want, um, but the most difficult thing for us when we make the color in, uh, in, our, in our shop is to understand what the customer wants. Mm -hmm. Does he want to impress his wife? Does he want to impress <laughs> his friends? Does right. he want to have something um, flashy? Does he want to have something quiet? And this is the, the hardest thing to understand because you have to, to feel what the person wants and sometimes he doesn't know himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, most guys still buy black shoes, but I mean, obviously people are looking for different colors as well. Yeah. Do you find that that's particularly popular in Asia? In Asia, I don't know, but I know that the European market now are changing. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't want to wear black, black. Even it's, I know that black is more secure, but um, you can wear now color, different color. Mm -hmm. I think people want to have um, a personality, uh, individuality in the shoes. Mm -hmm. Because for men, we don't have a lot of things. We have shoes and watches mm -hmm. and suits so the shoes is very important <laughs> yeah the shoes is very important to change because the last the um, the model don't change a lot but mm -hmm. the color can change yeah Mm -hmm. But I want to ask you, I'm curious because, uh, you know, you're entering the Asian market for the first mm -hmm. time, yeah. but I'm wondering, because you do make women uh, shoes as well, mm -hmm. but you're only introducing men's shoe into this market. Isn't the women's shoe market bigger? Yes, but it's not the same, um, I mean, it's not the same job. We can make women's shoes uh, uh, with men last. Mm -hmm. We can't make women's shoes with high heel. This is another mm -hmm. job, totally different. Mm -hmm. Men's shoes business uh, deserve and um, um, have quality. It's mm -hmm. very important. It's the mm -hmm. quality, quality. Mm -hmm. Women's shoes is more design. Mm, I see. So we are going to make shoes for women like loafer and boots that we can paint in to, can right. color too. But um, we are focused on men business right, right now. You were saying that when you first buy a pair of shoes, you have to buy something that's tight. But, um, you know, sometimes 
can get a little uncomfortable. How do you how do you break into it? How do you you know uh, 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 get it seasoned? But there is not perfect solution. You have to wear the shoes. You have to suffer a little bit. You have to suffer it's, a little. <laughs> it's the price you have to pay. Right, right, right. But um, usually, if it's a good lever, mm -hmm. if it's a good last, because the shoemakers choose the right one for you, mm -hmm. this is the part of the job. Um, the lever will always move. You always win move against a lever. Your foot, yeah. yeah, you have to be patient, and the shoes will follow the last of your foot, okay. and you will have something very perfect without traces here. Around how long does it take for the uh, shoe to? It depends. It depends. I think Singapore in um, weather, you take like two days because two it's very days. humid and it's very hot. But it really depends. And I'm also wondering because you have a beautiful shine here and polishing, but you know when you have unique colors like the blue one yeah. or the purplish hue, how do you maintain a shoe like that? For example, if I need to clean it or polish it? No, it's it's not hard. We we are the impression that it will be hard because it's a special color, but not not really. You have to uh, maintain and um, and uh, take care of these shoes as you do with a classic shoes like a black. Uh -huh. So you put shoe trees in it. This mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. Then you have to cream the shoes sometime, mm -hmm. like three times per per month. You can wax, but it's um, it's not um, taking care of the shoes. It's only the makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing is shoe trees. All the time when you you take off the shoes, shoe trees is very important. To maintain that shape and structure. Yeah, maintain the shape mm -hmm. and to dry the lever mm -hmm. on the last mm -hmm. is very important. Then uh, to not, do not wear a pair of shoes two days in a row because mm. it has to dry at the same time in the shoe tree. It's very important. You 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 mostly have to wear a pair of shoes like two days per week. You can only wear a pair of shoes two days a week. You can do what you want, but uh -huh. if you want, if you <laughs> okay, some, some guys only wait, own one yeah, pair yeah. of shoes. <laughs> yeah. What happens if I were to wear it every day? What would happen to that pair of shoes? The shoes won't won't um, uh, getting hold in a good way. They, they, they will have some crease. The last oh, will I see. will move mm -hmm. too much, and uh, you you won't have the same structure in the shoes uh, after all. What would you say then, since you come from a family who uh, is passionate about yeah. shoes, uh, when you see people out there, you know, everyone wearing all sorts of shoes mm -hmm. in different shapes and colors, what is the one thing you think people should understand about shoes or mistake that they're making? They have to understand that shoes is very important in the, um, in the men allure mm -hmm. because, for example, what a woman look first in a man is the shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm sure about that. Matthew Price there from luxury French shoemaker Setiem Laja showing or sharing his know-how of mint shoes. Well, the company is a fairly new kid on the block. It started business in 2010 and is based in Paris, but they're opening a shop here, right? Yeah, in Singapore, I think it's uh, sort of the first uh, venture into Asia, in fact. Yeah, but it... How important are shoes to you? <laughs> How, how important? Well, I just think like of all the items of clothing that you wear, it's the most kind of exciting thing for, for guys, right? Really? Yeah, you don't think? Oh, uh, not a good your tie shoes. or... Because no, honestly, the, the first thing I notice on a man is, you know, from your face down to your tie, the attire you wear. Yeah, but you don't always wear shoes. a tie. You always have to wear shoes, right? Oh, that's true. And um, he's sort of right because uh, you don't have a lot of things to play around with. So I, I suppose shoes will feature big. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <your> exactly. <wardrobe. laughs>